You do not have permission to use my image on the internet or anywhere else. All right, heard. Well, yeah, I mean, so we're letting them know you're videotaping, and yes. Okay. You know what would be nice is when the free press comes in to actually report on a story to not have implications of nefarious behavior. A lot of older people don't actually know that you're allowed to videotape anything, you know what I mean? Like, if you're being videotaped as you walk down the street anyways. Can I help you? Uh, no, I appreciate it, though. <laughs> Thank you. Is there a reason why you're taking pictures? You know, some people don't want to be videotaped. That's true. Yeah, well, why are you videotaping it? Because I'm working on something. You're a idiot. That's, well, that's your First Amendment. On TV. <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> What's it for? I'm actually working on a story about the post office. Hey everyone, I am free. It's February 20th, 2024. I am in the town of Ording, Pierce County, Washington State. I am heading to the local United States Postal Service, an exclusive jurisdiction, federally owned property, because I got tips and leads from the locals that there are issues at that post office regarding dangerous conditions at their back dock poor behavior from those employees that work at the post office and general bad customer service when at the front desk trying to get business done. So we're going to see if that's actually the case. Uh, no, I appreciate it though. <laughs> Thank you. Is there a reason why you're taking pictures? Yeah, just working on something. Like what? Uh, I can't really tell you now, but uh, if you're curious, I could email you afterwards if you got like a business card or something like that. No, just email the post office. Okay, fair enough. Just have you on my break. Fair don't enough. Don't put me in your pictures. Oh no, go ahead. Cool. I'll be right back. 
Some people don't want to be videotaped. That's true. Yeah, well, why are you videotaping it? Because fucking, I'm working on something. You're a fucking idiot. That well, that's your First Amendment. Wow. Jeez. You kind of make it creepy because you got your face covered and everything. Well, I've got a cold and it's a little chilly out for me. Okay. For me, you know. That kind of thing. Potentially. <laughs> What's it for? I'm actually working on a story about the post office. Oh, really? Yep. Uh, well, I don't know if it actually happened or not, but what I was told, I got a tip on me that some people come here and have some really bad customer service. Really rude. And that sign right there with the whole show your experience is supposedly some of consequence of it. So when I got I five tips, I thought, you were like, I'm gonna go I was like, I gotta go out. check this out, see if it actually is that way. I was like, why well, videotape myself for a living? So, there, like, there you go. What's yeah. gonna bother me? We're getting videotaped anywhere and all the time, anyways. See, there you go. I, I mean, know. there's some American common sense right there. You know what I mean? I so, know. I, I was, just always like to ask because you never know. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the thing is, is like, if this stuff doesn't co get covered, you're not gonna see Hero 7, Como 6, and others. They're not gonna cover this kind of stuff. They're did. looking for the blow up stuff and all that. But, you know, this stuff matters because if someone's coming in, especially an elderly person, which is one of the people that got hold of me, was apparently being treated really poorly because they had a hard time, like, kind of like, trying to explain because they're old, right? right. Uh, what they're trying to get done and supposedly patient. And then another person saw that, so came back and tried to record. And he said, You can't record in here when that sign over there says you can. So I think it's, it's like, your right, and it was just public, right? Exactly. Yeah. See, look at that. <laughs> well, I just think it's funny, like, a lot of older people don't actually know that you're allowed to videotape anything, you know what I mean? Like, and you're being videotaped as you walk down the street anyways. There you know what I mean? Right. Well, you have a good day, good Did luck. You wanna, do you have a channel you want to plug or something? Huh? Do you have a channel you want to plug or something? Brewbox. Brewbox, all right. Coffee stands. Coffee stands, all right. There we go. <laughs> Take care, have a good day. <laughs> Thank you so much. You do not have permission to use my image on the internet or anywhere else. All right, heard. Yeah. Eat so much salad. <laughs> 
Hey, man. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know what was going on with the ginning up of turmoil on your part. You ginning up turmoil. Why would you do that? Ginning up. I'm not sure. People ask what you're doing here. Yeah. I said you're making a YouTube video. I'm actually not necessarily doing that. I'm catching A-roll and B-roll footage because that sign you got up over on the door there about tell us how we did from the tips and leads I got were came up subsequent to some pretty poor customer service behavior that was reported to me so I came here to report on that huh. and you know if I tell you ahead of time that that's what's going on then ten people tend to all of a sudden put on a smile and look differently and all that and all of a sudden I overhear you ginning up turmoil this Th- those used women to were be in enraged broad- this man was in broadcasting and he said you cannot film him <laughs> Really? The man that just left, yes. The other lady. 911, three me, digits I, away. She just said, What's he doing I here? I do not want to be videotaped. Blood. I did not instigate that. Like she said over and over, I do not want to be videotaped. I said, There's nothing we can do about it. The last time somebody came in, we called the police. There's nothing we can do about it. Especially an elderly person, which is one of the people that got hold of me. Apparently being treated really poor because they had a hard time, like kind of like, trying to explain because they're old, right? Uh, what they're trying to get done and supposed to be patient. And then another person saw that, so came back and tried to record. And he said, "You can't record here." The last time somebody came in, we called the police. There's nothing we can do about it. She goes, "Well, I don't want to be videotaped. I did not." Jim up or whatever word you use. It sounded like that's what's going on. Yeah. And, you know, trying to impede the press. Everybody asks when this kind of what stuff is going doing on out there. Yeah. Well, and I mean, so we're letting them know you're videotaping. Oh, and like, yes. Okay. You know, what would be nice is when the up. free press comes in to actually report on a story to not have implications of nefarious behavior. I quietly not disturb the single person. Yeah, I bet you do. I'm gathering you're the person that did what the tips and leads were talking about. Do you have any comment? Ma'am, is that the, is the lady that was here the postmaster? No. Is she a supervisor? No. Who is the postmaster? Julie's the postmaster. Julie. Uh-huh. Do, you know what her last name is? I can't give out her last name. I'm sorry. As an employee, you can't give out her last name? Yeah. Okay. How do we get a hold of her? You can call the post office here. What? Do you have a card for her or a phone number or something like that? Yeah, cool. Me. Thanks. Appreciate the help, by the way. There you go. Thanks. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Have a good day. Hi. I'm trying to ship this little stuff out. Oh, I'm not in line. Go ahead. Are you recording? I am. Why? I don't ask questions. That's just your thing? You record people? Working on sound. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, I'm working. For? Myself. Filming up people around town. Well, just really, uh, it's about the post office. What? The work I'm working on is about the post office. Well, uh, I saw you over by the school district, so that's not the post office. One can't have more than one thing you're working on during a day. Oh, yeah. All right, well, that's here for today. I think some of the tips and leads that I've received regarding the bad behavior were coming from Suzanne. It seemed to be... She was trying to sort of weave this middle ground on her behavior. She absolutely was stirring up resentment over my covering the story. And you could hear from some of the locals uh, this rage which was spun up by 
Suzanne, the postal employee there. So I'm going to reach out to the uh, um, postmaster and, you know, see if I can have that addressed. I don't know if I can or not, but the uh, tips and leads, I think they uh, did in fact have uh, that old person that was referred to and some others have some uh, bad behavior uh, exacted against them from these uh, individuals who are, uh, well, at least one, Suzanne. Seemingly not good employees, so, you know, that's, uh, that being said, I think that's uh, pretty much at least demonstrating the terrible behavior here from Suzanne. Uh, you, you can see everything about that when she was in there, so, uh, that being said, that's it here for today for the city of Orting, the town of Orting. Uh, I'm going to be heading on to the next town right now. Uh, while I have your attention, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that all notifications bell so you get my stories right when they release. You can follow me on X, formerly Twitter, at I Am Free Auditing. And if you want to help keep my feet on the street, you can go to the links in the description for Cash App and Venmo. And uh, help me out there. You guys have been helping me enormously. I really appreciate it. Um, please, like I said, like, share, and subscribe, though. Get, get these stories out there. Uh, it really helps the algorithm a lot. So um, really appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.